Where did the spring and summer go? Yeah, that's right. We're already in September, and that means that we are getting closer to the kickoff from RNG Stadium in Houston for the Oklahoma Sooners season opener. Sooners ranked third, and Houston ranked in the top 15. And the game will be on ABC for an 11 a.m. kickoff. Yep, so make sure that you don't stay up too late on Friday night because otherwise you might miss a little bit or all of the action from South Texas. Oklahoma, if you believe in Vegas, the Sooners should win this thing by double digits. Oklahoma now a 12-point favorite, even though both teams are in the top 15. And, of course, even though Houston won a major bowl last year, the Peach Bowl, with upsetting uh, Florida State and returning Greg Ward Jr., they're all everything quarterback. But more about him in a second. The Sooners, though, um, you know, rank, being ranked third in the country and having to open up with a team like this that does have a lethal offense, and they're going to be playing, of course, in front of a predominant Houston crowd. The game is sold out, by the way, and I'll probably say the split's going to be something like 70-30 or 75-25 in favor of the uh, Cougar fans, and, and, of course, they're treating this like a college football playoff because they know with the win, and if they take care of business in the AAC, and if they can beat Louisville out of conference late in the season, this team with a 13-0 record is going to have a legitimate shot at crashing the uh, college football playoff party, even though, of course, they are a group of five team. 13-0, are you kidding me? And if they have a win over OU and Louisville to add to that, yeah, that's going to be a, a resume I don't think the committee can ignore, even if they're not a power five team. If you're looking at the Sooners, though, an opportunity to get back to the college football playoff, of course, after the semifinal loss to Clemson and returning a lot of those offensive weapons and returning a pretty good secondary and some members of that defensive line, you got to think the Sooners, you know, have a schedule that you know, is going to be tough at times. But remember, they're going to be favored in every game that they play this season. That is, if you look at the latest lines from Vegas as of right now, they'll be favored to beat Ohio State in two weeks. And they'll be favored to even win at TCU and win later in the year um, against foes like uh, Baylor, as well as Texas Tech, West Virginia, and Oklahoma State to wrap up. But keep in mind, though, that even though Ohio State in two weeks, of course, is a game that a lot of people are thinking about, the game will lose some of its luster if the Sooners stumble and lose to Houston. Could they lose to them? Absolutely they could, because there are question marks about that defense, the linebackers especially. So if they're not careful... You know, Greg Ward Jr. and company could absolutely mess Oklahoma's uh, situation up trying to get back to the playoff. Could the Sooners lose this game and, and run the table and still make it to the playoff? They could, but then it would be out of your hands. So you have to take care of business against a Cougar team that, again, you know, offensively they can play. And defensively, they're opportunistic and they got good linebackers as well. Good news for Oklahoma. We'll talk about Matt Romar and his situation with concussions, you know, uh, throughout his career, especially recently. It looks like he is cleared and ready to go. The defensive um, defensive lineman should be a vital asset toward the Sooners trying to contain the run and, of course, try to apply pressure to Greg Ward Jr. Um, offensively, I think the Sooners are going to have a pretty good game because, remember, you know, the Cougars, we know that their takeaway margin was one of the best in the country. It was pretty darn high in the 20 range. Bottom line is protect the ball, obviously, and for Baker Mayfield, making smart decisions, which he usually does. You know, not forcing it if it's not there. You know, if he has to take the sack, okay, but again, Houston made a living last year in part when they were able to force turnovers. Of course, the offense would take advantage with scores. So, big thing for this Oklahoma offense is be balanced. Of course, the Lincoln Riley offense doesn't work effectively if you can't run the ball, even though we think of it as an air rate attack. Houston's defense a year ago only gave up about 109 yards on the ground per game. And I know it was predominantly a uh, you know AAC schedule, but still that's impressive when you can give up less than 110 yards on the ground per contest. So offensive line with the adjustment of having, you know, Jonathan Alvarez at center. And of course, you got a couple of tackles that, you know, saw a lot of playing time last year. And, you know, you got him back this year, including uh, Drew Samaya. It will help to have him back. And we will see if the series, and of course, don't forget about the tight end. Mark Andrews as a freshman saw action as well. This could be a situation where Baker Mayfield and company can really dissect that Houston secondary apart. Remember, Houston lost three of their top five secondary players, including you know the likes of William Jackson III, who was a first-round draft pick. So, opportunity for Mayfield and company to go work, but again, it has to start with P. Ryan, and it has to start with Mixon doing the job. And, of course, remembering to use Andrews as your effective 
pass catching tight end. And we'll see, too, how the team does in year one after uh, Sterling Shepard and his great career. Of course, many eyes are going to be upon that Oklahoma defense, in particular the linebackers. Of course, other than Jordan Evans, you're basically starting from scratch in this department. And the thing that I think Oklahoma has to do defensively, put pressure on Greg Ward Jr. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to take this cap. I'm going to throw it as far as I can. If I see the Sooners just dropping back and playing entirely his own, okay? You got to be aggressive against a guy like Greg Ward Jr. Yeah, you got to respect his space, and you have to definitely know that he's capable of juking you, but you can't just sit back either and let him control the show either. Um, you got to be able to keep pressure on him. Let the corners play man to man. You know, let Dakota Austin, you know, let Jordan Thomas do their job against the receivers. And by the way, you know, it's going to have a little bit of familiarity for Oklahoma in terms of skilled players for the Cougars, even though I know they don't have a lot back from last year's team. Now, you got Greg Ward Jr. back, but here's where the familiarity starts. You remember Duke Catalan, the former Texas back? Of course, he is a running back now for the Cougars. And wide receiver wise, you know, Rashad Samples from Oklahoma State transfer as well to U of H. So, a little um, Big 12 familiarity right there for you. Obviously, pressure will be the key, keeping your assignments not overplaying plays against a guy like Greg Ward Jr. Heck of a player, but he doesn't have quite the same supporting cast as the year before. So can Oklahoma force him into mistakes? I very well think he can. And we'll see if Jonathan Vilma, the ESPN analyst, is right in saying that uh, it's not even close that Greg Ward Jr. is a better quarterback than Baker Mayfield. I disagree with that. Um, Greg Ward Jr. is a heck of a quarterback, but Look at Baker Mayfield and the resume he's put together, and I think he's also, to the more accurate passer as well. And just like Greg Ward Jr., you know, Mayfield can improvise and, no question, do things, especially when he gets out of the pocket. And I think that's one thing the Houston defense will try to emphasize so much is keeping Mayfield inside the pocket where he's not quite as effective as a QB. So, great thing about Mayfield, sometimes he plays without a script. He plays with feel, plays on instincts. That's where he becomes his most dangerous. The leader of this team, Baker Mayfield. Final thoughts on this game. Look, Sooner fans, don't panic if they fall behind early and don't panic if they end up giving up, you know, four touchdowns in this game, okay? You got to remember this defense in some ways is new, especially at linebacker, so that's to be expected. And plus, you know, Houston has got a good offense. I still think, though, that the Sooner offense is going to be able to get more production. They've got more options. And as long as Oklahoma doesn't get involved in that turnover game, I look for the Sooners to win and maybe not cover them. I'm going to go 45 to 35. It's going to be a high-scoring game to begin the season, but it'll be a nice win against the top 15 team. And I think that they get out of South Texas with an opening W. That's my look at Oklahoma versus Houston, my first preview of the 2016 season. My post game, unfortunately, is not going to be until Sunday. I've got... Um, you know, after the game, of course, I've got some other obligations to take care of, but sometime Sunday, we'll have the post game. Hey, better late than never. Thanks for watching. Boomer Sooner.